So I had a call from a gentleman who complained that there was a channel he wanted to be able to pick up and he didn't seem to be able to get it where he lived. So I went out to his job site and I found that there was this one spot right on top of his trailer. I was actually able to get the channel to come in. The problem is that wasn't the ideal channel or the ideal antenna for the other channels he wanted to pick up. So what I tried to do is combine two antennas and what I found that by combining two antennas, it actually wiped out some of the channels he was getting prior to me putting up a second antenna. And that got me into the question of wondering about uh, combining TV antennas together. Now, I remember at the time I, I was kind of baffled by it. I ended up putting in an AB switch so he could switch from one antenna to the other. But I called the gentleman at Channel Masters and I asked him his advice on it. He suggested that one thing that was very important whenever you combine two TV antennas is that you have two exact length coax going to your, your splitter. And uh, of course that's not always going to work because sometimes you might be getting a signal that's slightly out of phase because it's a reflection. But uh, anyway, I, I decided to do an experiment here today where I took two identical loop antennas. Hopefully you can see that. I've got a loop here and if you look at the other end of the stick, I've got another loop here. And what I did was I I tried different length coaxes to see how it affected the signal. I've got both of those antennas going into a splitter and then I've got my monitor over here so I can actually see what the signal strength is. And what I discovered was that the gentleman at Channel Masters knew what he was talking about. There does seem to be an interesting uh, result you'll get when you change the length of the coax going to the antenna. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I figured I'd conclude that video here in my shop where it's easier to follow my list. I went ahead and rounded off some of the numbers here just to make it easier to follow. Uh, basically, what you're looking at, here are all the frequencies that I picked up here. These are all UHF frequencies. This column are the virtual numbers that they assign to the channel. As you guys know, these numbers can change and they don't necessarily represent the frequency you're listening to. These last three columns here are the actual signals I received by changing the length of coax going to my antennas. Now on the first example, I had two five feet length of coax going to my loop antenna, going to a combiner and then to the TV. And these are the signals I got on the first example. Second one, I actually added 17 feet to one side, 17 feet of coax that is, just to see if it affected the signal. And as you can see, it certainly did. It actually weakened one or two, actually, it weakened. And a couple, it strengthened. Now, in the last example, I added 22 feet of coax to one side and five to the other. And you can see it made a difference there as well. So, apparently, there is something to the whole uh, problem of trying to add different like coax coming from your antenna. Now, naturally, coax by its very nature is going to attenuate the signal somewhat. I would expect that, but we're not talking about a great length of coax here. We're only talking about a maximum of 22 feet on this one here. And so my conclusion is that there must be a phase collision by the signals coming in at a different time and meeting at the combiner because of the length of the wire and causing a little bit of a phase collision and reducing the signal a little bit. Anyway, I thought that was a thought-provoking experiment. I remember years ago talking to a gentleman at, uh, in town here that used to do antennas for a living, and he, he discouraged me from trying to combine two antennas. He said he'd had a lot of problems trying to do that. And the same with the gentleman at Channel Masters. Although they did start selling antenna combiners at a later date, so maybe they changed their mind about that, or maybe that was just one representative I spoke to there. But whatever the case, I found that a rather interesting experiment. I hope you did too. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.